Hello everybody. Now we are going to start with the first uh, class or the first section in this in this chapter, which is uh, re related to or concerned with the correlations for mass transfer coefficient uh, for flow uh, past or, or parallel to plates, normal to spheres and cylinders. Um, and for the plates, we have already discussed this in details before when we uh, covered the uh, the this part in um, I think chapter 26. Uh, in this chapter, we went through the, the analysis based on the exact boundary layer analysis, and we were able to find the uh, relation uh, of Sherwood number with Reynolds and Schmidt number. Um, and of course, Sherwood number equals KL over D, so we can get mass transfer coefficient out of this. Um, this is the equation for laminar flow. This is the equation for turbulent flow. Um, again, both uh, both cases will will follow the same uh, the same general form of constant multiplied by Reynolds power constant multiplied by Sch Schmidt power constant, um, and we had a form also for um, transitional flow, but I don't have it here. <coughs> It was it was already there in chapter 20, uh, 26. We have also the uh, the local mass transfer coefficient. So this is the mean or the average mass transfer coefficient for, for the whole length. Uh, if you want to get the mass transfer coefficient for a specific point at distance x from the uh, from the starting point or from the leading edge, you can uh, use this equation or this equation. And of course, Reynolds number is rho v l over mu uh, v infinity, which is the bulk velocity, or v infinity l over nu. Both are um, are right, um, and of course, nu is the kinematic viscosity or the momentum diffusivity, which is mu over rho. So it's the same the same form. Um, so this is the or these are the equations that we found <coughs> or we know from before. There is another way of representing the uh, the uh, mass transfer coefficient correlation, which is the J factor. The J factor is a dimensionless parameter or a dimensionless factor that is used in some cases to calculate the transfer coefficients. Um, it's very famous in heat transfer uh, for calculating the heat transfer coefficient. Um, and it's very famous if you did if you did the the, uh, the design of shell and tube heat exchanger you will you will definitely know that there is something that's called JH which is also function of Reynolds number and Prandtl number. So um, this is uh, sometimes used because it uh, there are some some charts that are already there. You can go to the chart using Reynolds number. You can get JH, and then you are done. So this is sometimes an easier way to get uh, to get the mass transfer coefficient. But at the end of the day, JH is a function of K or or is K C V infinity multiplied by Schmidt part over three. With some mathematical simplifications, you will reach this form. So it's uh, a function of uh, Sherwood number over Reynolds over Schmidt power one over three. So it's it's not it's not a big deal. It's just uh, a simple representation of the uh, of the equation. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's not. So you can you have the freedom to use it if you want. Um, so this is uh, the equation. If you are, if you use this form uh, or this form, whatever the form that you want, and substitute with the uh, with the Sherwood number that or it's it's in in this form. If you substitute in in, in Sherwood number from the previous slide you will find that these are the forms um, in case you you want this is 3 times 10 per 6 I'm, I'm sorry this is a mistake it's 3 times 10 per 6 and this uh, this is valid for this range of schmidt numbers so this is regarding the uh, the uh, the equations for flat plate for a uh, closed sphere you will find that there are different uh, different equations but in, in in the beginning it's important to notice that i think it's a known information but just to revise it that the characteristic length for a sphere is the diameter so uh, if you calculate reynolds number it's rho v infinity d over mu this is k d over d a b so this is this is important to know that this is the characteristic length um, You'll find that there are a lot of equations here. Some are used for for con uh, forced convection. Some are used for natural convection. Some are used for um, uh, for laminar flow. Some are used for turbulent flow. And this is again, this is what I said in the previous uh, video that this chapter is you know, has nothing to do with uh, new concepts. It's mainly just getting exposed to equations to know how they look like. Um, and to make things easier, I have this um, 
this table. Um, it's a table that we we made the, the course instructors uh, to uh, summarize all the the correlations that we have. So, for instance, in case of a flat plate, you have here the photo of the flat plate. You have option for local or average mass transfer coefficient. The for correlation can be used for gas or liquid here, and you can see this is Sherwood number can be used to or calculated using this correlation. The same for uh, for these uh, local and uh, and average mass transfer coefficient. So this is um, like something that we can do. And the same here, there are equations for uh, for sphere. Um, some are uh, for forced convection, some are for natural convection, and some are for liquids and some are for gases. And this is the uh, or these are the conditions uh, under which you can you can use the equation. And I believe this is the the, the, the summary of the whole chapter um, is is just to know this equation. Sometimes there are some information that you need to uh, check from the the textbook, but the majority of the information are already here. So this this is. And all what what we have. I'll I'll put a a link to this uh, this file in the description of the video. Um, I think it's going to be helpful for for you if you need it. Um, anyway, so now uh, the equations. As I said, there are equations that can can be used for uh, for natural convection and for uh, forced convection. And in case it's pure natural convection, which means that there is no forced convection, uh, you can use this equation where Sherwood node is two. And uh, uh, we will see you know, more details in the next slide. But it's here for uh, for forced convection, we can use this correlation for Peclet number uh, less than 10,000, 10, and this correlation for Peclet, Peclet number more than 10,000. And of course, we know Peclet number is Sherwood number multiplied by Reynolds number, uh, Schmidt number multiplied by Reynolds number. <coughs> We know it from before for uh, gas streams where there is no natural convection which means that reynolds number i think it's not going to be clear so let me like zoom in more it's reynolds number larger than or equal 2.4 grass of power half schmidt power negative 1 over 6 if this condition is valid then we can use this correlation here for uh, natural convection um, we can use this relation we said the Sherwood node is 2 for natural convection and you can use this correlation for this value of Grashof and Schmidt number less than 10 power 8 and this correlation if this uh, Grashof multiplied by Schmidt number is larger than 10 power 8 and uh, you know, for, for, for just quick uh, reminder Grashof number is d power 3 rho l delta rho multiplied by g mu l power 2 and of course, delta rho is the difference between the density of liquid and the density of gas, uh, because this is the natural convection uh, flow dimensionless number. Anyway, so this is uh, just to give a summary for the equations. One last thing to mention, which is the mass transfer uh, to or from spherical bubbles. Uh, what we said here about the the uh, the sphere, uh, just to have an idea what what system can be. Uh, represented by sphere uh, you can think of this as um, like a sponge that is uh, has a spherical shape and has a, some some species in it that diffuses into the outside surface uh, something like uh, perfume that is coming out anything like this so this is uh, one thing that uh, that can be used but just keep in mind that this has constant diameter and for this case we we, we uh, do the calculations based on constant diameter that's why I'm saying that it has a, a, a fixed uh, dimension and uh, something in it is diffusing but or, or it's, it's transferring to outside surface <clears throat> you can think of this like uh, like a catalyst pellet that has spherical shape you can think of this as uh, an absorbent anything that has spherical shape um, but in this case, when we talk about spherical bubbles, it's a different thing. This is uh, used for cases when you have uh, or you are bubbling gas in uh, in liquid, uh, and this is uh, like the the fish tank when you bubble air uh, into the, the the fish tank to supply oxygen, or um, sometimes for uh, water treatment applications when uh, when microorganisms are used to uh, to consume the the organic or biodegradable. Uh, pollutants in this case you will want to supply oxygen so you do the same thing so in case you have uh, mass transfer from a bubble or to a bubble 
uh, in uh, that's that's of course since it's a bubble then by definition it's in motion it's it's going up and the the motion is natural convection motion um, or, or the convection here is going to be a natural convection because it's due to the difference in densities so for uh, for these cases uh, we have two equations one for uh, small spheres or small bubbles uh, less than 2.5 millimeter we'll use this correlation uh, and here we will use uh, another correlation for um, uh, diameters larger than 2.5 millimeter so this is the summary of the or, or almost everything we want to mention re regarding the first part next time we will solve a problem just to have an idea why things are going this way or how we can deal with these things so uh, we'll see you next time so goodbye